victim is Jennifer Fulton. She owns the restaurant with her husband. Now, the place was closed, but the front and rear doors were open. Kirk knocked her out, and he raped her. She goes to work this late? Sometimes she closes up, sometimes the husband. Uh, the cops know them, so they make a point of checking in, which is what Officer Bregan was doing when he caught the perp in the act. B-I-C-H. Did the moron rob the place? Night's take was still in the register. And either he didn't get the finish of job, or this was personal. Where'd EMS take her? You almost missed her. She lost consciousness and you're releasing her? Mrs. Fulton is insisting she leave. She let you do a rape kit? Yes, we patched her up as best we could. Jennifer, I'm Detective Olivia Benson. This is my partner, Elliot Stabler. Hello. Uh, do I need to sign something? Mrs. Fulton, I'm urging you to let us admit you for the night. Look, doctor, I'm fine, honestly. Uh, just show me where to sign. We just have a few questions we'd like to ask you about what happened. Of course. Jennifer, did you know your attacker? No. Can you describe him? Well, I'm afraid it all happened so quickly. What about his clothes? His race, uh, had he been drinking? Look, I was in the middle of closing up, and he hit me from behind. I'm sorry, I don't remember anything. OK. Well, why don't you go home and get some rest, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Look, thank you for your concern, but really, I'm all right. You were assaulted. And I survived. Please, I just want to put this behind me. We found the smoking gum. What is he talking about? He pulled security camera tape from every convenience store within a 10 block radius of the restaurant. He came up with this. Latino male, late teens, 15 minutes before Officer Bregan came by the restaurant. The store owner know the kid? Nah. Get a print out, canvas the neighborhood. Don't bother. This is Leon Ardias, our underage drink. So is that. Did you see the man who attacked you? I'm not sure. It was, it was dark. Take your time, Jen. I think it was him. You ever seen him before last night? He looks like the kid that was arrested in our bar for drinking last month. Yeah, he was underage. He had the balls to blame Jen for getting him in trouble. I should have never left you alone to close up. Did you take the night off, Mr. Fulton? Yeah, I had tickets to the Knicks, second row. It was some game. Thought Houston was going to pull it out for him in the fourth. Houston fouled out in the third. What game were you watching? I must be thinking about the game the night before the last. Right. Are you going to arrest the punk who attacked my wife? Remember her? Never seen her before. How about I refresh your memory? Cops busted you for drinking in her bar. Doesn't mean I roughed her up. You did the lady, left your tag, even faced down a cop. The only thing we don't get is why big, tough hombre like you had to knock her out before you tried to rape her. Sounds like performance anxiety to me. I swear to touch her. Touch something. Let go of me. I look like orange paint to you. Uh-huh. I might have guessed. NYPD's very own civil rights busters. What do you want, Balthus? Some quality time with my client. Yeah, sorry. We're taking him to the crime lab. What for? Test the paint on his hands. So this is where you fellas cook the books. Why isn't this in an evidence bag? Because it's my lunch. Oops. Well, look at this. Our crime scene. Stay away from there, Balthus. Listen, Munchkins, I can see it now or I can see it in Discovery. OK, I'll test the sample in the GCMS. Gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. Which will tell you that the paint on Leon's finger matches about a million cans of spray paint. So it was a glass and an open bottle of wine on the bar, which you then dusted for prints. And whose did you find? Jennifer Fulton. Here's another piece of evidence, a broken wine glass. And what does the report say? Found in trash behind bar, glass wiped clean, but two partial prints on base. Mrs. Fulton's too? No, we're still looking. So after the restaurant was closed, Mrs. Fulton shared a bottle of wine with some mystery person who then wiped his prints and left. Leon, did Mrs. Fulton invite you in for a glass of wine? No, ma'am. I didn't think so. The paint's a match. You're cooked, Leon. OK, I found the door open. I went in and tagged the place. I heard a moan, and I saw her lying there. I was going to help her when the cop came in. Criminal trespassing. I doubt he'll even get probation. Trespass, and the little psycho had a gun. Gun? What gun? Did you find a gun? No. I'll see you at arraignment. Not another word. Kid admits he was there, Captain. Officer Bregan swears he was on. And the victim ID'd him. We still got a good case. If you hadn't given his attorney a sneak preview of the forensics, 
Why the hell did you let her in there? We didn't have a choice. She would have got the evidence in discovery anyway. Well, we still have to ID Mrs. Fulton's mystery boyfriend. Elliot and Olivia are looking at everybody who worked at the restaurant after hours. Give them a hand. May not need one. Checked out her husband, Craig. Turns out he took a couple of collars for domestic violence. So we got his prints. They're sealed. The case has never made it to court. Jennifer dropped all charges. Doesn't mean Craig assaulted her this time. Yeah, but it may be why they're not living together anymore. Craig moved out six months ago. Then why the lobby couple act? Because the restaurant franchise is in both their names. Mama Sue's head office in New Orleans just told me that if the Fultons split up or if they get into any legal trouble, they could lose the restaurant. So they're staying married for the money? Uh, no, there is no money. The head office says that the restaurant's in trouble, the profits are in the toilet. They were thinking of closing the place. That's a recipe for violence. I'll tell you who will have hubby's prints. State Liquor Authority. Get the lab to run them against the partials. And maybe you should ask Jennifer who she shared that romantic bottle of wine with. Why are you questioning me? I thought I was the victim here. Jennifer, the defense is gonna dig into your personal life to undermine your case. You've got to tell me everything. I have. Well, you didn't tell me that you and your husband were separated. It's not official. I want a divorce, he doesn't. Look, I really don't wanna talk about this. Mrs. Fulton, think about what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I am trying to keep my life together. If you guys can't help me, please leave me alone. We're on your side. Jennifer, we know that you were attacked. We know that Leon Ardias had a grudge against you. But did he try to rape you? Jennifer, was it Leon? No, I'm sorry, it wasn't him. It was your husband, wasn't it? He came around after closing. Said he wanted to talk. So you opened a bottle of wine. First he was civil. Then he started accusing me of running the restaurant into the ground. He said that if I divorced him, he'd cut me out of the franchise. I said, over my dead body. And he got violent. He ripped my shirt. He shoved his hand between my legs and said that he could do whatever he wanted to me. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't until I told him I was pregnant. And then he let go. And I tried to run, and I fell. Are you pregnant? 11 weeks. And Craig's the father. We tried to get back together for the sake of the business. We had sex once or twice, but it didn't work. Obviously, the sex worked. Will you testify against him? No, I can't. We can protect you, Jennifer. If you let this go again, the next time he might kill you. You will protect me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>